What's up YouTube? Here in this video I want to check out some best US places you can get here in Adelaide. Now let's go! Hi, my name is Shannon and I like to eat. I do a lot of food reviews around Adelaide so hit that subscribe button and give me some notification bell I love too. So here, I'm here in Adelaide and I've got a little, uh, in one of my previous videos I asked to what good places to get a Euros here in Adelaide. So in this video I'm going to show you a few places where I like to get a good Euros. Keep in mind I am saying Euros here in Adelaide because that's how we pronounce it. In other countries it's pronounced gyros or souvlaki depending where you're from but because this is a video made in Adelaide I'm going to say Euros. Oh, I've got a nice little place here in the park. It's a nice little thick combo you have lamb, chicken, and pork. It costs about $18. It's really one. The second it's put into your hands, it is thick. This place, Giannis on Highland Street, is a very popular place with a lot of people here in Adelaide, especially the, uh, the Saturday night clubbing scene. It's probably one of the few places that cooks their euros on a charcoal grill. You've got all the meats on there just cooking, so it gives that nice, really rich charcoal flavor when you're eating it. Now let's unwrap this thick, meaty goodness. It could be heavy, there's good weight to this as well. Very thick, let's just open it from here. Oh, it's so... <laughs> it's so greasy. It's... Oh, all the juice is just falling out. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want this to go everywhere. Now look at that. This thick, greasy, messy goodness. See, the greasier, the better. Put it right there. It's, it's gonna be hard to make a thumbnail out of this, it's just falling apart. But anyway, let's dig in. Cheers. Mm. This Euros is made to perfection. The, the meat is cooked so well on that charcoal grill, it gives that extra taste to it. It's very generous in meat sides as well. Man, this just reminds me of all my clubbing days and after the night out, I'll just hit up this place and Probably sitting in the gutter just trying to eat this Euros and probably just a bit more sloppier. <laughs> just that charcoal taste on the meat is absolutely fantastic. It works really well with that chicken, the, the beef, the lamb. But I swear to God, this is definitely one of the best places to get here in Adelaide. It's probably a good thing I'm sitting by myself in this park eating this Euros because I am making an absolute mess of myself. Oh, all the juice is falling out. Oh, a bit more fell out there. Mm. That's some fat pork fat on it. Freaking beautiful. Alright, my next Euros place here in Glenelg, I went to Euros Shack, formerly known as Marcus, Marcus Euros, excuse my pronunciation. This was one of my favourite little go-to places back in the day, um, used to be this old man serving, I think it looks like they may have changed owners now, or maybe he's still there, but not there as often. This is my good late night place to get uh, Euros down in Glenelg, there's another place too, maybe I'll check it out later, but in the meantime it's Marcus or Euros Shack down now. What I've got is an off-menu item. It's the chicken and prawn euros. You will have to ask for the prawn and pay a little bit extra on top. It's an off-menu item. You can't see it there. You will have to request for it. And look at it here. Look, it's, it's very thick. It's, it's meaty as. It's like I pick up this, I pick this up with two hands. Quick tip as well. If you want to uh, order a euros here, if you want to pay cash, make sure you pay exact amount as well. They will look after you. Pay the exact amount. If you're a bit short. He might give you a bit of attitude. I think the biggest difference was that um, back in the day when I first discovered this prawn and chicken euros, they used fresh prawns. I think here at this time they used crumb prawns, but probably will still taste the same. Let's dig in. Cheers. Mm. Got the right amount of chicken and prawn in this euros. When I first discovered this, I think they just overpacked with chicken and just touched up on prawns. But now I think they've got the portion size right. 
it's not too overflowing with meat and lettuce. They balance it so well this time, but either way, the ones I used to get years ago and the ones now are still just as good, even though the fact that these prawns are crumbed, um, deep fried, but either way, it's still good. Uh, as you can see, they cook the euros on a vertical flame grill, so it's rotating the spit. But either way, this is a still good euros. One of the best you can get here in Glenel. There's a few other good places here too. We'll check that out next time. But in the meantime, I'm enjoying this one. Such good memories eating this. My God. This truly is like a hidden gem here at Glenel. The chicken and prawn euros together. Who knew this would be the best combo ever? Like, swear to God, thank God I discovered this. And thank God I paid correct change that one day and he just looked after me. Thank you, Maccus. Uh, this is kind of a first. Uh, first time I've eaten a Euros and it was very little drippings or a big mess. I thought I'd have to pull out the KFC wet wipes, but guess not. That was pretty clean and presentable. Anyway, off to the next place. Okay, my final Euros place in Adelaide. I've headed up the Semaphore onto Jetty Road to check this place out called Skarg's Greek Street Food. If you Google best Euros in Semaphore, this place shows up, so I had to try it out. I've heard good things about the place and you kind of have to get a ticket and line up. Some days you'll be a massive lineup outside the door. Fortunately, I was there, there's no lineup, so I quickly got in, ordered my food. The place looks really authentic. I love the design of this place. And here I've got the Scara Special, which consists of pork meat that's off the spit, some chips, halloumi, and some mild spicy feta dressing. Out of all Euros the places I've got to, like, how they presented this, it looked just absolutely beautiful. Like Most Euros look very sloppy. They presented me this nice little presentable box wrapped up and nice little filling on the outside. So you can take those nice little photographs for Instagram. Uh, look at that here. Woo! I don't think I've had one this presentable in my life like it's usually just wrapped up in sloppy goodness it does look a little bit sloppy but it's presented much better the bird actually looks very thick as well like the uh it's a bit thicker than all the other kinds You've got chicken the feather there halloumi chunks of chicken why not just chunks of pork and the chips as well this looks absolutely delish i hope this is worth the hype now let's dig in cheers Mm, oh God. Right here, right here, right here. This is one good euros. It's not overflowing with like all the ingredients. It's a nice portion of the chips, the halloumi, the, the tomato, the onion. You get a nice little touch of that zinginess of the spices as you bite down into the halloumi, but it's not too overpowering either. So you can actually sort of appreciate the flavors inside the euros. You can see the halloumi is all the way spread out the bottom, but then and the chips are sort of scattered through here. I wish the tomato and the vegetable were a bit more spread out, but you can adjust that yourself. But either way, this one is pretty amazing. Because as you bite down to it, you get that taste of the halloumi first. And then your tongue just wraps around the meat and the chips. But to be honest, it's not dripping out too much at the end. You can see a little bit of hole where it's all dripping out, but it's been okay. So it's not as sloppy, but it's still delicious. Oh, there you go. All done with minimal spillage. I think I did pretty well for myself. <laughs> well, guys, that now officially ends my Euros tour here in Adelaide. But keep on, I'm only scratching the surface on some of the best Euros places here in Adelaide. I want to hear from you guys. So leave in the comment section down below which Euros places you want to check out. Well, places you want to see me check out in the next video. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Happy eating. Munch out.